Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to solve Cambridge IGCSE Mathematics Paper Core Variant 1 1 May June 2021 from question number 18 onwards. Before we start, do subscribe to my channel and if you like the video, share it with your friends and post a comment in the comment section. Let's start. Any invests $8,300 at a rate of 5.6% per year compound interest. Calculate the value of her investment at the end of six years. Compound interest and simple interest, these are common questions. You need to just know the formula. This is the formula we need. P1 plus R over 100 and P is the principal that is our starting amount. So amount is equal to p which is principal 8300 1 plus r r is our rate of interest 5.6 divide by 100 n is the number of years which is 6 we just have to put the whole thing in the calculator we will get the answer 11509.6 you can round you can put a zero there and that's the final answer no need to round for Round it, it's fine. Next, write down an irrational number where 31 and the number is between 31 and 32. One way to solve question number 19 is we take the numbers that are there and square them. So you have 31 square and 32 square. 31 square is 961 and 32 square is 1024. Take any number in the middle. It should not be a square number. Let's say uh, 1001. You can take any other number and you, can, you just have to square root and write. So n is going to be square root 1001 when you put in the calculator you will get a number which is between 31 and 32 you could have taken uh, 965 970 you could not have taken 1000 because if you had taken 1000 you could have taken just let me check yeah you could have taken that also so anything with a root, you could have taken that. Question number 20. Question number 20. By rounding each number in the calculation, correct to one significant figure. Estimate the value of this numbers given to us. So the first one is 38.7. What's the first number here? If you have 5 or more than 5, you add 1. So the first number is going to be 3 plus 1, 4, 40. The other number we have is 3.115. The first number is 3. The second number is 1, less than 5. So we will leave it as 3. Then 20.3. The first number is 2. And the second number is less than 0. So it's going to be 20. 4.1 square. Then we have 4.1 one square so it's 4.1 square we round the number to the first digit it will be four now multiply everything put everything in the calculator you can do it at one go the only part important was that you had to show the step and the answer we will get is 30. If you have any questions or anything you are not sure of, you are you can ask me and I will reply to you, inshallah. Question number 21, simultaneous equation. This is one thing you really need to know because it's one of the most common questions. This question, compound interest and all, if you know the working out, then it becomes so much easier to get those marks. Look at the coefficient of x and y nothing is same so we need to make the coefficient same i will make the coefficient of x same how will i do that 
by multiplying by 2. So I'm going to get 2x. When I multiply by 2, I have to multiply everything. Negative 5 multiplied by 2 will give me negative 10y. 40 multiplied by 2 is 80. After this, I will use the other equation and solve. Because my signs are same, 2 plus 2, it will give me 4. So I need to subtract. When we subtract, all the signs change. For each term, it changes. 2 minus 2 is 0. If there is no number, there is a 1. So 1 plus 10 will give me 11y. And 3 minus 80 will give me negative 77. So y is equal to negative 77 divided by 11, which is negative 7. We found our y. Doesn't make a difference what you find first. And then substitute y is equal to negative 7 in equation 1. So in place of y, we are going to write negative 7. And the negative 7, when it shifts to the other side, will be positive 7. So 2x is equal to 10. Divide by 2. X is 5. Moving on to the next question, there is a straight road between town A and town B of length 130 km. Maxi travels from town A to town B. Pippa travels from town B to town A. Both travel at constant speed of 40 km per hour. Maxi leaves 30 minutes before Pippa. Work out how far from town A they will be when they pass each other. There's a lot of information here. So it's always better to write down things, break it into steps that it becomes easy for you to understand. The first thing is that there's a straight road, A and B. This is the town A and town B. The distance between both of them is 130 kilometer. We know that our distance from town A to B is 130 kilometer from A to B. Then Maxi travels from town A to town B. So, and Pipa travels from town B to town A. Both are traveling at a constant speed of 40 kilometer per hour. Maxi leaves 30 minutes before Pipa. So the time taken by Maxi is, let's see if Maxi leaves 30 minutes before Pipa, how much distance did Maxi travel? This is minutes and we are working with hours. So we have to change the minutes to hour by dividing by 60. You will get 0 0.5. So we know the speed, we know the time and we use the triangle So to find the distance covered in the 30 minutes or half hour, we multiply 40 by 0 0.5. So the distance Maxi covers is 20 kilometers. This is suppose 20 kilometers that Maxi has covered. Now how much distance is remaining? There was 130. So from 130, when you minus 20, you're going to be left with 110. Maxi is now here, and now Pipa will also start traveling. They both are going to start traveling, and they will meet halfway. The reason they will meet halfway is they are both having the same speed, 40 kilometers per hour. So they are going to meet here. That is the midpoint of 110, which is... They will meet at 110 divided by 2, which is 55 kilometers. What we are looking for, how far are they from town A? So this is 55 and this is 20. Therefore, distance from town A is 
20 plus 55, which is 75 kilometers. I hope you understood. Thank you for watching. This brings us to the end of the tutorial. If you have any queries or anything, you can ask in the comment section. Bye.